Hello once again and welcome back for some more The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. And I don't remember being on Headstone Island, but maybe that's because I did a little bit of playing off camera just to round up a few heart pieces and <clears throat> what's the other thing? Treasure charts. And it is so weird that, like, I can be fine all day, and then as soon as I, like, get ready to start talking, my throat is like, ah, oh, I'm gonna need to be cleared every 20 seconds. Where's, uh, where's the jumping fish around here? Hello? There he is, way out there. What a jerk. Just like you to know, it was very inconsiderate of you to be swimming so far from the island. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. There's Headstone Island. Oh, really heavy stone head, eh? North four squares, east three squares, to Fire Mountain. Huh. Well, I want to do something here first. Yeah, look at that, Stonehead. I'm gonna look in my bag of goodies. Put this pear on my head. Because why not? That's a rupee. There is a piece of heart here. Alright, Seagull. You can't turn quite that well. No, no! There we go. Use the camera to my advantage. I'll just fly blindly. Alright. Coming in for landing. Actually, can I just hit back? Yeah, nice. Ah, oh, sweet. Another full heart. Okay. So what did that fish say? Did it go north four and west three? Is that right? Seems like a long way. Uh, so North Four is on this line. Let's go to the Tower of the Gods. is pretty close to where I want to be. Just put on this swift shale. So, what is this? this is three... Fairy Island Fire Mountain. Oh, there may be a giant squid here. I think I defeated this one already, though. Wrong side of the controller. Yeah. 
Fire Mountain. Hmm, I've already got the thing I need to get inside here. It's all good. I just want to get a little bit away from this ship that's going to try to blast me. Uh, maybe the... Here? There it is. Perfect. That's how lava works. Okay, you can run away, that's fine too. Oops. When did those birds sound like sheep? It's so weird. fell there. Just come get some already. Haha! -ha. I got your feather! Stupid bird. <clears throat> ah! Link! Please! Target! Probably shouldn't spend so much time goofing around with bats. Good. Why? I guess I shouldn't have stood on that platform so long. That's probably the problem. Oh great, all the bats are back. Well, not to that then. Dead? Give me my treasure. Whatever could it be? Ooh, power bracelets. Neat. Yep. Now I can do this. Wah! Look at me. Look at my big head. Tiny legs. Oh, I've got such tiny legs. Oh, I feel so sad. I've noticed the timer has disappeared now that I got the treasure. Was it somehow the source of the lava? We may never know. Come on, bird. I want to steal another feather from you, please. Hey, <laughs> sucker! Where's my boat? <clears throat> Here it is. Okay. It's time to sail off right into the island. That was smart of me. Very clever. All right. <clears throat> I 
There's another island out on the way somewhere that I need to stop by. Okay, here we go. This is it for sure. You can tell by all the icy dust coming off it. Mm. Fish dude. Can't you ever just be in a convenient spot? Smurfy. Ice Ring Isle. Amazing treasure. Closer. Uh, this looks like where I'm supposed to approach from. I guess I could approach from any side. I didn't realize there was a low ring all the way around. That'd be a you have to come in from a certain direction, kind of dealy. <laughs> These noises are so funny. I guess pressing the leaf button a second time does not cancel the leaf. Who would have known? Not me. You don't have to freak out quite so much. It's just ice. I think probably if you didn't know already, you're probably starting to get a good picture of what we're going to find in here. Besides more bats, always more bats. Oh, fairies. I don't really need them, but... Thanks, I guess. Easy. Easy. It's a lot less scary than the princess's secret slide. Iron boots! And yet, somehow they don't get mapped to a directional pad button. Oh well. Ooh. Is this a grotto within a grotto? Oh. Some kind of combat arena?
you gotta go. I want the money. And I want that belt. And I guess that arrow. Whoops. Wow, there's a lot more guys in here than I thought. I'm gonna need more magic. What's your problem? Dang, I was hoping for a magic jar. Right, you did. Sucker. Take ten roop. Ooh, nice orange roop. It's, uh, it's just a jar. I probably don't need whatever's in there. Why was there enemy music over there? Oh, maybe that boat. Treasure chart! Where's my boat at? Boat, there you are, way out yonder. Uh, we have a lot of money. So I think it's time to visit Mr. Tingle. Extortionist extraordinaire. We need a service from him, and I don't remember how much how much it costs. But I've got a buttload of rupees right now, so it's as good as time as ever. It's as good a time as ever. As good as time as ever. Yeah. Just not good at speaking. Oh, do I smell a treasure chart? I'm here on business, Tingle. Dude, I found like 50 charts. Oh boy. Cool, now I can find a piece of Triforce. So I can't remember exactly, but I think in the original game you had to find a chart and then have Tingle decipher it for every single one of the eight uh, Triforce chunks in the game. Which, you know, as you can plainly math, would become very expensive very quickly. So it's uh, it's quite a nice boon, I think, that they changed it to only needing, like, three, maybe four charts. Still a few too many, but... Did I just kill that shark by jumping on it? Because that would be pretty sweet. Oh yeah, because the chart I just got deciphered is Ch Triforce chart number three, so there's got to be at least three. And then instead of finding charts, 
or the rest. You just find them where the charts would have been. So, it works. It works. It's not, uh... Maybe the best, but at least they cut down the tedium quite a lot. Alright, uh, I've got a couple things to do here. Actually, let's go this way. Get this free bloopy. And this is school. I've got a few more joy pendants. Madam. I guess I have to actually get them out of my spoils bag to show you, which is dumb, but here, check it out. Ah, Cabana Deed. <laughs> now I'm a homeowner. pad for Link who's like 10. I guess he is already quite the ladies man. What with the Tetra and Medley and probably that's it. Oh yeah, so I guess one of the subquests is you can buy these little statues from the guy in the parka. Um, and you can place them around town in these little stand thingies. And I think, I think, I'm not totally sure, but I think you get something for filling every single one which is a ridiculous task by any measure. And again, it's like, you have to buy a little statue for every single one. Let's see how much this little basic flower statue costs. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he gives me the first one for free. And then what you're supposed to do to get more of them is sail around and you can find some dudes um, on certain islands that you can trade them with, and depending on which statue you give them, they give you a different one. And... Uh, I think at one point you can get, like, the best one and if you give it to a certain guy, he'll give you a piece of heart or something. Or maybe you get it from Zunari once you've traded them all. I don't know. It's a lot of busy work again, and eh, it's not something I really want to do. Okay, come. No! Damn it. to go in the building. It's the only way. And there are tons of these little statue thingies around town. So it's a huge, huge time sink. And, like, it's so easy. You can just miss one and be looking for it all day. Ugh. Just, ugh, not a great side quest, by any measure. I 
don't remember if I have to specifically light this at nighttime, or if I can do it now. Uh... Do I have to go to C and shoot it? That would be nuts. I am, like, running on empty for magic, so... Maybe these flowers will help? A little bit. Tiny bit. Empty pot, you suck. Nailed it. There's no friggin' way. There's no friggin' way. No. It can't happen. Just... It can't. Uh, that's the wrong song. I want to warp. Uh, to where? I don't know. I actually... I got that chart deciphered and did not look at it. Hmm. What island is that? I don't think I've been there yet. Okay. Uh... This guy? Did we get... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... I thought we got another... Teleport point, but I guess not. I'm looking for it is right here. And that beam of light disappeared really quickly. Fortunately, I've got this little treasure chart that kind of leads me toward where I need to be. Triforce Chunk! One of many. get our map square. Something I definitely will be not be doing. Totally optional. I don't think there's any actual prize for it. 
and it takes forever. Forever and ever. Uh, and I can't get up here. Okay. This looks like the kind of slope I need. Why are there no magic jars anywhere? Hmm? Riddle me this. There they are. Huh. Oh. This is not at all what I had expected. Yeah, I could spin these around to get that the hard way, but why not just boomerang it? <laughs> nice. Way to go, boomerang. Show those thorns who's boss. Hmm. Well, I could do it the hard way and try to get a Deku stick up here. Or I can just do that. Oh wait, there was a treasure that I was supposed to grab before leaving. <gasps> oh. Is this what I came here for? Yeah, I think it is. The other chest must just be rupees then, because I don't have it listed on my little guide. Wakey wakey. Thank you. Oh, boat, why are you way over there? It's not where I left you. Okay, <laughs> now that I've had some distractions, time to get back on track here. Uh, let's go to this one. I'm not totally sure, but I think I can do the next two temples in whichever order I prefer. To be honest, I don't really remember which one is which on the map, so I'm just gonna start at the south and go from there. Okay, we are back on a headstone island, which has a big stone head on it. Smash that. Head on in. Time to learn a song. Time to learn a song. And I think I'll need that exactly once. Maybe twice ever. Oh. It's a Zora.
This will be the only time we see one of them in this game. Outside of that one stained glass window. Hmm. Stole your soul, eh? buddy for this which means more flying around the world I want to go to dragon roost if there's anything else to do there while I'm in the area. There's two... oh. Two pieces of heart. One for playing the mail game. Okay, which I tried to do, and he only gave me money. Maybe now he'll give me a piece of art? Maybe? Alright, you. Mail time. Oh. It's so good when there's a bunch of them in a row like that. Oops. Control stick cheated me out of that one, I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'm gonna try again. Oh, I got a raise. Oh, who is the new helper? Maybe he's going to send me a piece of heart in the mail. Can I? I can't jump over this ledge yet. Poop. Oh, 
I hear a harp. And she should be up here. Hey, Medley. Good to see you again. I got a song for you. It's gonna change your life. Literally. You're gonna be stuck in a musty old temple for the rest of your days. Oh crap. I wasn't holding down. sweet. I dreamed of your sword. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> I just want him to remember me because I'm going to die. to go right there or can I like get out and do some stuff I'm gonna do some stuff sorry medley there's at least one matter that needs to be investigated here Actually, I have two things I want to check out while I'm here. Uh, maybe we'll do this one first. What? Where does this go? Is this outside? Yeah. Got a 
pop back into the dungeon very quickly. Just gotta go and grab a little something something. Just whoop on over here. Put one of these down. Hope that I don't get exploded. Got exploded. Hat's freaking out. Alright, another Tingle statue. Well, oh, new part-timer, eh? Oh, okay. Six, better than ever. Give me your heart. And by that I mean piece of heart. And... Ah, there it is. That's where all the magic jars were hiding. Easterly direction, I think. I don't know, I might be chasing a whole bunch of nothing here, but... What is over there? I don't think I'm gonna make it. Thank you. Uh, okay. Not a hundred percent sure where I'm going to end up here, but. Seems to be working out. Come on, bird. Hmm, he's not that interested in me. I don't need to kill him now that I've got his golden feather. I should have cut that grass for magic, though. Wasn't too tight, but didn't have to be tight at all. So where does this go? Oh, treasure box. Mmm, money. That's cool. That's not what I wanted, really. <gasps> the secret of the stone has been revealed. Just shoves out. Just like that. Not actually all that impressive. Uh, 
But there's like a grotto here somewhere that I need to find. I think. Hold on. Dragon Roost Island. Uh... Maybe not. Maybe not. Link, why? Why couldn't you just jump? Is this it? That looks like it. <laughs> Gulp. Burp. Five rupees postage, are you kidding me? What was in that envelope? Like, a gold bar? Something also heavy? Um... Is there anything else I want to do? No. Okay, I changed my mind. There are things I want to do. Because I don't... I've been playing long enough that I don't really want to do the next dungeon in this same episode. I think we're going to save that for next time. So I'm going to fill some time with doing some other random stuff here. Like... Befriending this pig. And by befriending, I mean using him to dig for a heart piece. <laughs> Away he goes. Whoa! You're gonna dig for that heart piece, mister. That's a rupee. Uh, I forget where the patch of dirt that I actually need to dig at is. I think it's probably up. And not down. That would have been too easy. So we'll just very slowly carry this giant pig the hill. Okay, I was wrong. I did not need to carry the pig up the hill. I needed to carry him across this bridge. Deal with these choo-choos? Why are there choo-choos here? This is supposed to be a friendly island. Not monsters. Ah, dig? Are you not going to mm -hmm. dig like I asked you to? I don't have that much more bait. Pickles? Pickles? No. Not for seagulls. Mm -hmm. Piggy. There it is. Okay. Oh, there's a piece of heart. I can win another piece of heart by doing Orca's training again and hitting him 500 times. But that's tedious. That's really tedious. Why would I do that? I don't want to do that. Um, can I even get up there? Which way is the wind blowing? It is blowing the opposite way that I want it to be. No, don't bounce off. Okay, wish me luck. I don't think my magic meter is long enough to get across.
Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be... Well, it was close, but not that close. in this thing. Oh, fairies. Don't really need them, but thank you. Alright, so this is the Savage Labyrinth. It's, I think, 50 rooms of combat. And I don't remember how much I'm actually required to do. I think 10, maybe 20. And I don't even remember what's at the bottom. I think I have to do this for a Triforce piece. There is one on outside. But I don't really remember where it is, and this is the only thing I can think of. Unless Grandma's holding on to it or something. Spoils? Hmm, no spoils. It's too bad. Hmm. Can you have targeted the closest one? That was five, I think. Ooh wee, slaughter. Mini blends are the worst. So, uh, yeah, we've just got a lot of combat here, so how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Hope you don't have COVID. I don't have COVID. Wake up. Oh, you can just smash them when they're curled up? I'm such an idiot. I thought you had to do the reaction thing. Anyway, um, <laughs> trying to find things to say to fill the silence. Um, fun fact, when I was a teenager and I was obsessed with this game, um, I actually wrote a walkthrough for this cavern and submitted, to, submitted it to GameFacts.com or GameFAQs.com if you're a weenie. Um, anyway, I, I did that and... It did not get posted, or accepted, or whatever. Made me sad. But it lives on forever on my website, so suck it. Um, CNET? Is that who owns that website now? Okay, I guess I've got to keep going. Oh, we need something different for these guys. Yeah. 
<laughs> Boing. I think the, uh, the cartoon aesthetic of this game is just incredible, and it makes me sad that Nintendo's probably never going to make a proper sequel. I mean, it technically did get two sequels, but they're not great. And they're on 3DS. Or... no, not even 3DS. They're just on regular DS. Uh... Yeah, where they will be trapped forever. Uh, except for... The totally great avenue of Wii U Virtual Console. <laughs> so, basically trapped forever. I don't think they... Yeah, they, they, I guess they could somehow be ported to Switch. But it wouldn't be pretty. And... I don't know, maybe porting them to Switch without some of the the DS functionality would actually make them... No. Uh, system gimmicks were not why those games were less than stellar. It was... other issues. I don't think uh, that the games in question, being Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, are quite as bad as their reputation uh, suggests, but they're not great. They've, they've got their share of problems, and I think they're still fun games in general, um, and I kind of look forward to revisiting them because I haven't played them uh, since they each came out. So... It's going to be interesting to check them out with a fresher, less uh, obsessed with the Nintendo DS eye. doing them a little bit good, and it's taking them slightly longer to die, but whatever. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the DS Zeldas. Um, oh, I guess one of the things, like one of the major problems with them is that you control Link with the touchscreen, so it's like, you drag the stylus around the screen to move him, and then you, I think you tap. Um, right? Is it tap? Yeah, I think you, you tap the screen to swing your sword. It's, mm, it's not the worst. But, you know, <laughs> it could certainly be less bad. More, more good. Sick of these little bar guys. They do have some interesting ide ideas, though, in them, uh, and we'll cover all that when we get there. Um, but yeah, it's, they're not perfect. Um. And also, Spirit Tracks, as far as I'm concerned, has the best world map theme in the series. It's so good. I should not have used all that magic. I really thought I'd find the Triforce piece by now. Ugh, I wanted to jump backwards, not sideways. Ow! Ah! Okay, 
Okay, come I can't be stopped by these stupid baby statues. They're too sassy. My buddy, eat up. I did this. They are not stunned. Wah! And now at this point I've totally lost track of how far along I am. I thought I would target the bubble. Fortunately, I've got three fairies, because this is not going super smooth. Oh, big boy. Get rid of these distractions first. It's got no shield, though, which is nice. This is gonna be whoa, 25. Really? Sassy statues again? Oh, and a whiz robe. Target the dead one. Oh. Give him a poke in the old eye. Slows him down. Not so sassy anymore, are you? Not so sassy anymore, are you? Uh, oh, just the inflection on my voice when I said that sounded weird. for this leaf, which I'm probably not going to use in combat here. Two big boys. Gold and silver, eh? You almost think we're getting close to the end. Come on, silver. Hit your buddy. I want you to knock his armor off for me. I want anything to happen that could help me. Like, an action command? Maybe. Oh, 
Just trying to deal with both of them at the same time is not great. And I don't... I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get the little A button to go. I am supposed to be able to kind of fight back. But it's not triggering. I don't know if I'm standing in the wrong place or what. take two steps forward, didn't you? hit each other here? Normally they can. Right? Didn't didn't they do a bunch of knocking each other's armor off when I was in Hyrule Castle? Oh, see, he, he killed his buddy. He just couldn't knock his armor off. For whatever reason. Oh, see? There, it popped up, like, for a second. No help to anyone. Swing, you idiot. Oh. Punch me. You and your falling down iframes. Don't appreciate that. Load of crap. Hey, look! It's nothing. Money. Uh, berry? we go, baby. Triforce Shard. Oh. Really? Rude. I guess I'm not allowed to go any farther yet. There's a big old statue in the way. Not the kind that I can do anything about yet. Well, that's probably fine, actually. Uh, I was hoping to collect a few more Triforce pieces, but this is good. We're in a good place, except for that. That was dumb. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to run over here. Up into this... Water. Climb on the boat. And we're gonna sail back to Headstone Island. Where I was supposed to be going from the very start of this video. Remember? Remember that? I loaded the game and was sailing directly towards this island and couldn't get in. And then got totally sidetracked by a whole bunch of uh, little adventures. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? That's fun. 
Good times. Had by all. Especially me. Because I was playing Wind Waker. Hmm, nest of an evil creature. Make sure you let Ryan do whatever he wants to you, okay? I'm a boat, I know best. Okay, Mr. Talking Boat. Uh, so that. I screwed up the sides. That's fine too. A little bit less exciting, but what can you do? Well, guess we gotta jump for it. Down the hole. Okay, so yeah, now we're in the Earth Temple. This is a great time to save the game and cut it off and say thank you for watching we will see you on the next video bye bye